the Steve Gruber Show. A lot to talk about this morning as state lawmakers now have moved forward on a deal that would increase funding for roads by $1.2 billion. But you, the voters, get to decide in May on an increase in the state sales tax from 6% to 7%. Joining us on the phone now is the Senate Majority Leader, Randy Richardville, who broke away just for a moment to speak with us about this. Uh, Randy, good morning. Well, good morning, Steve. Actually, I, I just uh, made a motion to adjourn, and the uh, Senate just adjourned within 30 seconds or so of your phone call. Well, I greatly appreciate it. Well, just to take my call. <laughs> you make, you and your listeners mean that much to us. Well, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, all right, so tell me, sir. Uh, first of all, did you vote for it? Yes, I certainly did. So tell us the uh, the plan, how it looks, and what it's going to mean to Michigan voters come May. Yes, the most difficult part is being able to explain it. But uh, what we do, first of all, is create a new $1.2 billion, that's with a B, for roads. It takes care of the structural problems that we have where at the pump today, not a lot of people know this, but there's a 6% sales tax when you buy gasoline on every gallon of gasoline, and that money does not go to the roads. About half the money collected at the pump goes to schools and goes to local government and a little bit to the general fund. 19 cents per gallon stays there. What we did was replaced it with a tax of about the same amount of money, except that we dedicated all that money to the roads. So then there will be a ballot proposal that in May voters will decide if they want to increase the sales tax in Michigan from 6% to 1% to make up the money that would pay for schools, local governments, and in fact schools would get an extra $300 million or the equivalent of about $200 per student. Which is significant which is significant for yeah. sure. The first two years, some of the money would be used to pay off $1.2 billion of bonded money from the Angler days. We pay today over $200 million in paying off those bonds every year. We would put a dedicated amount of money there. And then also there's an earned income tax credit for folks that either rent or own homes. So overall, it's a package that helps to increase school funding, stabilize school funding, put $1.2 billion more toward the roads, and help pay off some of the long-term debt from 15, 20 years ago. Obviously, um, we've got our listeners calling in already, with this, uh, and the support is mixed, to say the least. We're kind of split down the middle here. How big of a mountain do you have to climb politically, do you think, to make this all a bite size? You have to break it down, say education's getting a break. We're going to reduce some debt. We're going to fix the roads. We're going to pay a little bit more uh, in sales tax around the state. But what's it going to take to make the sale at the ballot box? Well, it's going to take people that have good marketing expertise, better than mine, uh, to be able to take a relatively complex issue and break it down to something easy. Like, basically, it's this. We're going to fix the roads. You're going to pay an extra penny when you buy things. And it's going to help lower-income people, it's going to help the schools, and it's going to pay off long-term debt that hasn't been touched in 15, 20 years. Well, so we're off to a good start. And, Senator, I can't say thank you enough for coming straight off the floor and getting on the phone with us. We appreciate it. And uh, talking about what is going to happen to Michigan going forward. It's going to happen in May, my friends. The the voters, you get to decide what uh, Senator Richardville and his colleagues put together, an increase in sales tax with a chance to fix the roads. Senator, uh, have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Steve. And you have a Merry Christmas as well. Thank you.